to be funny, so I try pretty hard, but I've never actually been funnier than, let's say, a can of green beans, which isn't funny at all. The only time anyone laughs at what I say is when I'm not trying to be funny in the slightest. I guess I have more of a quiet wit about me than anything else. In Mr. Ross's class earlier this year, we read a passage about how humor is boisterous and lighthearted, whereas wit is mean and evil-spirited. As soon as I finished reading it, I thought, oh my gosh, I am the person that people can't talk to because I'm just mean and I suck the life out of conversations. <laughs> I have never read something that has left that much of an impact on my character. What the heck? Sometimes we just read things that make us think poorly of ourselves. These things compose us Facebook posts, tweets, or in my case, an AP passage that made me feel like a complete social failure. <laughs> but then it occurred to me, maybe my social failures are just another fun part of my character. Yeah, that must be right. Freshman year, I was continually hit in the face with a basketball, and while all of you called me butters because I couldn't catch it, I'd say I was just getting past too hard. There's also my more recent mistake of painting my entire body gold with a friend for a pep assembly. You may be thinking, oh, that's not even so bad, but that's before you, before I tell you, it wasn't body paint, but instead was acrylic paint, which is essentially liquid plastic, and that is peeling off in big, flaky chunks all day. While it was clearly a bad idea in the end, it was one of the best bad ideas my friend has ever had. And I can promise that I will never do that ever again. I just had to do it once. We've all heard the phrase, never say never. I heard it most recently when I was listening to my Justin Bieber Pandora station, but, it, <laughs> but adults also tend to say it a lot, and it's printed on a number of posters that get hung up in classrooms. It means to stay positive and that you can do anything you want, which is true when you're coming away from senior year. But I have said the word never. A lot. Have you ever played the game, Never Have I Ever? Well, everyone holds up ten fingers and someone says a statement about something they have never done and everyone who has done that thing puts down a finger. Never have I ever been to the zoo. Hey, actually, we can play right now. We have some time to kill. How about everyone puts up five fingers and I'll do a few examples. Never have I ever had a backpack that lasts longer than a school year. So if you have had a sturdy backpack, feel free to put down a finger. Never have I ever performed in a pep assembly. Never have I ever played an actual musical instrument besides a harmonica. Never have I ever snuck off campus for lunch as a freshman, sophomore, or junior. Never have I ever ditched a class. Okay, so I clearly won this round, but you'll have a chance to play real life. As I thought about senior year, it seemed like a more appropriate be a game would be Never Again Will I Ever. There are a lot of things that fit into the game. Seniors, this one's only for you. I will never again be a part of the student section. Never again will I ride a Flowing Wells district bus. I will not play a sport in a Flowing Wells uniform, perform on the stage in the auditorium, or run at the minute bell to get to class. I will not see another paint day. We won't have another chance to be the class that gets confetti banned. <laughs> I will not continue to hoard Nebraska quarters, and I'll hopefully never have to log on to World by Me. And after tonight, I won't be in a situation where it makes sense to chant 2013 ever again. This seems like a loss. All of my fingers are down and I've lost the game. I've finished high school and there's absolutely nothing exciting after that I can picture. Wait, that, that's wrong. While it is true that high school is made up of buildings that magically glitter blue and gold, the future is a skyline of buildings that has the entire rainbow. Flowingwoods isn't the end, it's a step. It's a community of teachers, parents, and students that serve as your transportation to the rest of the world. The entire faculty tries to make your time here fantastic so the rest of your life can be even better. We are all given another chance to put up our fingers over and over again in life and continually have new experiences and never say never. I'd say we're fortunate to have been here with these people who impact our lives in ways we couldn't have imagined ourselves. The fact that half the proposed AP shirt designs had a pug on them shows Ross's impact. Or maybe that when I wore a shirt with a cat on it, the question I kept getting was, did you show Profe that shirt? <laughs> High school was a dream, and I'm not going to be waking up from it to be thrown out in the world all alone. When someone asks, do you like your school? All I can say is I love it. Flowing Wells truly is a community. We are all the cliche grains of sand in the hourglass, some funny, others smart or athletic, 
but we ultimately come together as one high school and one student body and one class of 2013. <laughs> Never have I ever wished I could have gone somewhere else for high school, and when I'm looking back in 15 years or 50 years, I highly doubt that will change. Thank you. Graduates, please rise. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, I hereby declare you graduates of Floyd Wells High School. I offer you my sincere congratulations and respect. Thank you. And ask that you change your tassels from right to left.